Hi, I'm Jennifer from Shabby Fabrics. This beautiful wreath behind me is called Twister Holiday. It's a fun project using a really neat tool. This quilt looks complicated, but it is so simple. That's a previously recorded video. Be sure to subscribe to YouTube so you always see our newest quilt and DIY videos. Now, one of the questions um, that I get, or sometimes I hear people say is, well, I can make the wreath or I can make this, but I'm not good at making bows. And so I thought I'd just show you today um, a very simple, doable uh, way to make a beautiful bow. Um, as in anything, starting with good ingredients usually results in great results. So I'm starting with a one and a half inch uh, ribbon that is double sided meaning there's really no right or there, no wrong side it looks the same from both sides and there's a wire in the edge of the ribbon on both sides of that ribbon so it's going to hold its beautiful shape if i want to add a twist or a turn or move one of the loops of the bow it's going to hold its its position so um, about two and a half to three yards by the way if you do purchase the twister holiday kit which is available from Shabby Fabrics. The ribbon is already in your kit, so you don't need to go shopping for that. Um, I like to leave a nice tail right out of the, out of the beginning and trim it later. So I, would leave, I leave almost a foot in the very beginning. And the first thing that I like to do is simply make a twist. Um, that gets, and we're gonna twist every time, always at the center. So let's make our first loop. Now that's going to be your decision. How big do you want this bow to be? How full do you want this bow, bow to be? And of course, if you want many loops, two and a half to three yards is not going to be sufficient. I'm always surprised how much ribbon it takes to make a, um, to make a bow, especially a very full bow. So I'm just going to make my loops about that size. I'm going to be referencing this one here so you can see that. I don't know if that's helpful for you, but you can kind of see where I'm going, is I am going to go ahead and make that loop about that size. And once, as I get to the middle, I'm going to twist. Let's do the same for the other side. And we will simply pinch that and twist a full rotation so that when I come out of that twist, I'm going the other direction. I'm off to the other side. Another one, pinch and twist. Does get to be a little bit of a handful. There's no doubt about that. I'm gonna pinch that and then twist. And sometimes I just have to kind of re-gather everything up. I, I, have I ever dropped one while I'm making it? Yup, just start again. Um, definitely done that a couple times and pinch and twist and then one more I just did three loops on each side I felt that was enough okay now I've done that I'm going to twist one more time now how do you end this thing I've got all this extra ribbon probably way more than I actually need I'm going to trim some of that away real quick just less to manage now some people at this point would have had a small piece of the ribbon available and they would simply come in and go around the middle and tie to the back great option sometimes i found that challenging because it's like how do i let go of this to go do that and tie a knot it's like i need three hands that i don't have so a method that i came up with is just start looping that um ribbon a couple times around the middle and you can squeeze that in there then with the tail i have from before the beginning i have it down on the table i just tie in the back so it's hidden in the back my tail comes down here my tail comes down here let me cut that so it's a reasonable length. Cut your ribbon at an angle. It will fray a lot less. Bias always frays less than on um, a straight cut. And then you'll simply form your ribbon as you desire. Moving that knot to the back. 
tails come down and you can add some twists and turns. And then to attach that to your project, you will simply from behind get in with a cording needle and thread and just stitch that to your project. So that's all there is to making a bow with shabby fabrics.